Welcome to this, our Film Journeys for Tom Hardy. Remember, Film Journeys is all about discovery. Our hope is that we offer up a selection of films, actors, directors or composers in order to find new movies that we hope you'll love. Tom Hardy is a British actor with a long and varied career, working with the likes of Christopher Nolan, Gary Oldman, George Miller and Benedict Cumberbatch, to name a few. He's currently starring in the UK's number one movie, Twice. Right now, on general release in UK cinemas, is Legend, the British noir crime thriller that tells the story of the identical twin gangsters Reggie and Ronnie Cray, two of the most notorious criminals in British history, and their organised crime empire in the East End of London during the 1960s. And it's Tom Hardy who plays both the Crays. The film itself is a little unbalanced, at times a beautiful calling card to the 60s East End of London, other times a little cliché TV movie with some clunky dialogue, but the saving grace of the film, which is probably a bit of a harsh phrase as the film is actually very watchable, is Tom Hardy as the Cray brothers. Here is a scene in the movie where Reggie and Ron are introduced to and decide to deal with the American Mafia. I saw them come to Philadelphia and say, nice girl, we'll get it for you. I prefer boys. Italians. Sometimes great, but I am not prejudiced. <laughs> you got some balls to admit that, kid. Although I mentioned that the film is unbalanced, when the film is good, it's great. The dialogue often gets going between the two brothers or between Reggie and one of the Cray's firm. Everything speeds up and the film whizzes along. The brothers not only rule London, but also the screen in this movie based on the book The Profession of Violence by John Pearson. This command of the screen by the brothers is all down to Tom Hardy. To command the audience's attention with one role is hard enough, but to do it with two roles, well, it's more than twice the work. It's an epic acting feat, especially considering that Hardy doesn't have any props, nor much in the way of physical appearance, to distinguish the identical twins. It's a double powerhouse performance on well worth a look. Our second film in this film journeys for Tom Hardy is Bronson from 2008. A young man who was sentenced to just seven years in prison for robbing a post office ends up spending three decades in solitary confinement. During this time, his own personality is supplanted by his alter ego, Charles Bronson. And it's a considerably bulked up Tom Hardy that plays Bronson. Here he is introducing himself. My name's Charles Bronson. Nothing wonky about my upbringing. Like most kids, I got into trouble. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, bad. And all my life, I've wanted to be famous. Now, at first glance, this might sound like a very similar role or set of dual roles to the Cray twins from Legend. However, this is a slightly different kettle of criminals, to coin a phrase, for two reasons. Firstly, playing the Cray twins is playing two distinct people, very similar to each other in many respects, but two separate humans. Playing Michael Peterson thinking he's Charles Bronson, that's a very different thing to do. The film is a little avant-garde and certainly has its tongue firmly in its cheek throughout, but it took a lot of skill on Tom Hardy's part not to go too far over the edge with the character of Bronson. There's a subtle difference between overblowing the maniac side of a character and ending up with a comic book villain like the Joker, but what was required here was the portrayal of a man utterly believing in himself as his alter ego. Our final film for this Tom Hardy film journey is Mad Max Fury Road. This was one of the films that shocked everyone this year. The movie centres around a woman who rebels against a tyrannical ruler in a post-apocalyptic setting, in search for her homeland with the help of a group of female prisoners, a psychotic worshipper and a drifter named Max, who is played in this iteration by Tom Hardy. Now Tom hardly ever speaks in the entire film, and when he does, it's mostly an odd grumble or grunt. So bringing character to this version of Max has to come through a lot of body language. The film was a surprise to most who saw it because it not only embraces all the aspects of which you'd expect a Mad Max film to see, fast cars, action, explosions, post-apocalyptic settings, but it was also a Hollywood studio film that gave us a credible lead female action star in Charlize Theron. Tom's Mad Max, which had previously been played by Mel Gibson, is certainly not surplus to requirements of the story, far from it, but it's Furiosa, played by Charlize, that is the star of the story. We've covered the whole idea of this as a Hollywood film attempting to break the gender equality gap in action films in much more detail in a separate Film Journeys talking point video that you can watch on our channel.
Now think about the daunting task that Tom Hardy had with Mad Max. He's taking on, to all intents and purposes, the lead role of a massive Hollywood blockbuster, his first true lead role where his name will be carrying the picture. He's following in the footsteps of Mel Gibson in a character loved by fans all over the globe. The shoot was very difficult in the middle of the Namibian desert. And on top of all of that, his Mad Max character is going to have to play second fiddle, to coin a phrase, to Furiosa, going against fan expectations. That's a tough gig. And like it said in the legend scene at the beginning of this video, Tom Hardy has got some balls taking that on. So, have I picked the right three films for Tom Hardy's film journeys? You tell us. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google+, Pigeon Mail, Snail Mail, however you want. Join in the discussion. Film Journeys is all about discovery, and people will not be discovering unless you join the conversation. Thanks for watching.